All right, welcome to San Diego State University. We're just about ready for the opening face-off here between the San Diego State Aztecs and the home white and the UCLA Bruins in a visiting Bruin Blue. This is the first, uh, or second, excuse me, for San Diego State second divisional game. I believe this is the fourth divisional game for UCLA. UCLA is currently 0-3 within the division of the SLC. San Diego State 1-1-0. One and, one and oh. Divisional record, overall record, San Diego State 4-0. UCLA Bruins 3-7. You say with the first possession, an early shot. We have a crease violation though. Turnover to the Aztecs. As we settle in for this contest between SLC Division I foes, I am Matt Holman along with the TVX video crew here at the beautiful campus of San Diego State University. Sunday afternoon, 66 degrees. And yes, the sun is shining for those of you in areas that might not be as nice. And the Aztecs are on the board first. That is number 31 for the Aztecs. Keegan Lamar. Or excuse me, Dylan Pitts, sorry. <laughs> Got my numbers mixed up, folks, sorry. Sorry, Lamar and Pitts families. That's Dylan Pitts with the first tally of the day for the Aztecs. That's a face-off violation there. You'll see the officials keep track of the face-off violations on the third one in the same half. That team will be penalized. You'll see a, a penalty of 30 seconds. So one nothing Aztecs in the early going here. Shot clock just approaching the 52 second mark. Plenty of time. It's a good double team by UCLA. Excellent cause turnover by the UCLA defense. 12.45 to go in this first quarter. 12.45, one nothing Aztecs in white, UCLA in blue. Aztecs applying pressure all over the offensive half for UCLA. There's an unsettled situation for UCLA. Not a bad shot. Probably like to see the overhand on the goal, but still not a bad shot. UCLA with 30 seconds on the shot clock. Sneaky defensive midi move there. Woo! That was number two of the D midi. Joey Gerzetek. And the goal was, was scored by the leading scorer on the Aztecs, Brian DeVito. Shout out to Mrs. DeVito there on the Eastern Seaboard, watching her son play. We have a mutual friend, a coworker of yours, so wanted to say hi. Two nothing Aztecs in the early going. 11-42, first quarter. 
UCLA trying to answer back. Oh, just bounced over. Looked like it was gonna drop right in the goal there. And I mentioned uh, Brian DeVito. Aztecs are led by three, their three top scorers in points wise. Brian DeVito, number 16. Seth Gummall, number 19. Those are your two. Got a little confusion here with extra ball on the field. And it's back on the field. So we restart Aztecs with 40 seconds on the shot clock. Early shot that will not reset the clock. For your knowledge at home, the shot clock in the MCLA is 80 seconds. Oh, and there's a goal by number eight, Evan Dean. Junior attackman out of Valencia High School in Valencia, Valencia, California, excuse me. As I started to say, the shot clock in the MCLA is 80 seconds. Uh, the only variation is that after a shot that hits the goalkeeper or a pipe, the reset is to a full 80 and not 60 as NCAA Division I plays. So that is the slight difference there. That adjustment was made to accommodate the various support that MCLA teams may or may not have on campus and those clock systems that, as an early start on the defenseman, he was a little anxious. Clock systems that reset themselves cost are very costly, as you might imagine. So the shift was to leave it at one that just resets to 80 for now. That's just an offsides turnover and was slow to get back on the backside here. Aztecs looking to push that now. They'll pull it out, set up their set offense. Three nothing Aztecs with 10 minutes to go in this first quarter. That's good defense by the Bruins there. Looks like a nice clear. You'd like to see them probably hold the ball just a little bit longer, give their defense a little rest. Give everyone a touch too, it gets people comfortable. We're still in the first quarter. I want everyone to feel involved early. I'm sure the UCLA bench will work that out. For now, they're back on defense. Kind of a quiet afternoon so far. Good crowd here. Right, that's a crease violation there. Easy call.
that's an illegal offensive screen or old timers would say a moving pick. Seven forty five to go in this first quarter, three nothing Aztecs. Lazy Sunday afternoon, daylight savings time. No call there. Good hustle on the ground ball. Twenty-five seconds remaining on the shot clock as they restart for the Aztecs here. Great defensive play by the Bruins there. Bruins will get their offense set. Group in. That's a tough place to hold the ball, right by the sub box there. People are coming on and off. Six thirty remaining in the first quarter. Aztecs with an early double, causing a turnover. Great stick work here by the long pole. Good patience by that long pole as well. Looks like an eight, but I'm gonna say it's a nine. Blair Wise, that clearing long pole midi there. Showed great patience. Let's see if the UCLA defense can capitalize on this loose ball. They cause a turnover. Oh. Aztecs are getting, they're really pressing the ball to the step or two off the crease. That time they had two people there. I'm sure the, the Bruins will make that correction. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. That's a good check. Good ground ball. Good clear by the Bruins. And they drew a foul. I count eight white shirts. That'll be offsides on the Aztecs. Sent one too many guys on the field in the transition there. So delayed flag. He'll have a. Well, I shouldn't assume, but I see eight, so it'll be a 30 second offsides penalty. Unless, of course, the defense commits a personal foul. That'll make it very interesting. That'll blow it dead there. And I suspect it. So, first penalty for the San Diego State at the 416 mark of the first quarter. 30 seconds. Man down. 32nd man up for UCLA. See if they can't capitalize here. Looks like the Aztecs are content to come out and pressure a little bit. Sometimes pressuring on man down really it speeds up the offense. Offensive players, sometimes with the pressure, you, you have to almost step back. 
don't know if you want to dodge the man up. Well, they're gonna get luck here as he threw it away. Oh, wow, spectacular ground ball. The referee in the way. He is part of the field. Aztec tried to work around him, but Bruin ball. It is all even. This is on, oh, I'm gonna say that was a good lift check. I don't think he meant to shoot it up almost over the backstop fence. So here we are, even, 3.25 to go in this first quarter. Bruins settle in on offense. There's a good dodge and a good shot by number five. Hayden Lechner, his first of the day. Hayden Lechner at a Exeter High School in New Hampshire. Both these rosters are just stock full of young men from all over the country. Obvious reasons, both, both universities offer a great quality education. But New Hampshire, Ohio, Maryland, of course right here at home, Plenty of San Diegans on both teams. And of course, New York and New Jersey. That's a little too cute on that behind the back there. Thought he had an overhand shot. But we'll let him explain that to his coach at the quarter break. There's another one of these crease looks. That's the fourth time the Aztecs have pressed that ball into the crease. They've gotten two goals off it. We're gonna have to see UCLA make that adjustment there. Four to one, two minutes, 40 seconds to go in this first quarter. If UCLA can't win this face-off, get some momentum going. Try, you really want to answer back in these situations. That could be a push. Yeah, we got a whistle, push, in favor of UCLA. There you go. Let's see if they can answer back here. minutes 10 seconds to go 56 on the shot clock for UCLA so there's no rush it's like they're patiently in their offensive set which they want to be there you go not a bad shot that's what they gave you That's the second turnover there on an easy outlet pass, but the goalie, Carl Hedberg, with a 59% save average, junior goalie out of St. Ignatius High School, San Diego, did tap himself on the chest, saying, my bad. Sometimes the easy ones are the hardest. It's a good dive down the alley, no shot. Good deflection. UCLA retains possession. 40 on the shot clock, 106 in the on the game clock for the quarter. Oh, nice inside roll. Beautiful move. That is number 12 on the Bruins. Max Eisler. Out of Gonzaga High School at Washington, D.C. Max is the leading point scorer on the team for the Bruins, so appropriately enough, he gets himself on the board. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
4-2 ball game. 45 seconds to go in this quarter and counting. Aztecs on the clear. Oh, we almost had another throw away by the goal. That's good communication from the Aztecs long pole. We saw number 12 waving his teammate up over the field because he could see beyond him as his teammate looked back for him. 20 seconds to go here. CLA wants to play some stingy defense right here and they do, causing a turnover. Oh, what hell. Wow, good hustle by the Aztecs there. Is that it? <laughs> well, I'm gonna call him Shoeless Jace Ferris on the goal for the Aztecs. Shot that without a shoe on his left foot. Outstanding save on the sideline to start it all off. It looks like three seconds to go in this first quarter or three tenths. My angle, I'm gonna say three seconds. Three tenths, I was wrong. <laughs> So with that, the end of the first quarter here from San Diego State University. Aztecs five, UCLA Bruins two. I am Matt Holman. This is the SLC Network. And we will step away for about a minute and we'll come right back with the second quarter action. And we're back here at the start of the second quarter. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, Daylight Savings Day. Aztecs in the home white leading 5-2 over UCLA Bruins. This is the SLC Network. I am Matt Holman, taking you through these next three quarters. Aztecs with the opening win on the faceoff. And they will settle into their Offense. Five two is the score if you're just joining us. like the Aztecs are working out of a one for one but just an errant pass. Not sure who he's trying to force that to. 
Excuse me. Bruins are on the clear here. Good wheels here. Oh, unfortunately, you see they got caught without a backup there, but great wheels on the D, D midi to get that shot off. like UCLA is content to be in a deep ride. This is that pass they gave up earlier, but now they're contesting it, so adjustments have been made. I don't think that was a push. That was more of a hit to hit. UCLA comes up with the ground ball. Aztecs are, oh no, no, they weren't offsides. They had plenty back. Nice check. It's a good job by the Bruins to move the ball away from the substitution area on, on transition. You stop right there, you got guys coming on, coming off. It's an easy, easy place to jump for a double. 12.30 to go in this second quarter. 45 seconds on the shot clock. Probably don't have to tell you, but I will. The Bruins are in the visiting blue. Aztecs in the home white with the metallic red helmets, or chrome red, I guess. Aztecs easily converge on that errant pass. See if they can clear it here. Bruins looking to shut him down with a double. Good hustle by number 10, though. Number 10 being Bilal Jadi. It was a great, great clear by his part. There's that look across the face of the crease once again. Looks like the Aztecs got bailed out on the errant pass. A push call, but a push on UCLA, excuse me. They'll retain possession. And they got a fresh 70 remaining on the shot clock. <coughs> Defensive procedural calls will reset the shot clock. Kind of a strange place to take a 17 yard shot straight on the goal. He paid for it a little bit with the body check. That's a good slide, let them know you're there. UCLA on the break. See if they can get there. No, good hustle by that offensive midi to ride him until he was subbing out. Smart play. Oh, there's a flag down there. Two flags, I assume it's the same play. All right, so we had a stoppage. So what, what you had there is the flag was down in UCLA's favor, but the UCLA bench was acting up, so they got a conduct foul, so that stops it. Referee standing right there. I don't know why, with a flag down in your favor, you can generate a conduct foul, but they did. Somebody didn't like it and should have paid attention more. Could be a variety of reasons, folks. Foul language. Stepping on the field, combination of those two. 
we will be left to wonder. So UCLA on man up again. Last time the Aztecs did like to pressure on these corners here. And as a, an observer from up this high, I would say UCLA spacing is a little tight for man up because it's allowing the defense to make easy slides. Well, that's good hustle back though, make an errant pass. It's a great way to scrap Bruins. Let's see what we have here. Okay, okay. We're losing our control here. We do have a flag down. Let's see what happens. Two flags, so I think it's one person. Referees will sort it out. So we got a Bruin foul. One minute. Slash. Okay. So we are actually even now. Teams are playing nine on nine, and I'm going to say for 16 seconds, Aztecs are even, and then they'll be man up for 44 seconds. So even, what we like to say, five on five on the offensive half for another, looks like seven, six seconds, five, and then they'll be man up. So now they'll, yep, they'll have their 44 seconds of man up. So hopefully the Bruins can hold out here. Like the Aztecs are in their, their play, they're cut. Oh, geez. Had a nice look over the top of the goal, but kind of stared them down too, let the goalie deflect it. Luckily they get it back. Looks like they're just in a freelance there. Oh, number two. Joey Gerzetek. Opening up the second quarter, scoring with a man up goal. 8.50 to go in this second. Teams are all even now. That goal scored releases the foul. As the afternoon breeze comes in from our vantage point here, Let's see if UCLA can win this face off. Another good ground ball by the Aztecs to counter the initial move there. Oh, the heat is coming now with these shots. Okay, UCLA ball. Now for me, if we don't have a clear break. Oh, okay. Here I am gonna say, if we don't have a clear break, I'd like to see a possession, but that's number 25. Or oh, excuse me, 35, I was waiting for him to turn around. John Wyatt. St. Paul School to Baltimore, Maryland. What we like to call is the putback or the garbage goal, but it was his own garbage, so we'll call it a putback. Shot it, deflected off right to him. Able to tiptoe that crease area. Got himself a goal. We got a flag down here. I think that's going to be on the Aztecs. Yeah. Okay. 38 white. Fouled. Called for slashing here. And it looks like the Bruins will take a timeout. So with that, we will step away for 45 seconds. 8.02 remaining in this second quarter. When we return, UCLA will be on man up for one minute. This is the SLC Network, and we'll be right back.
And we are coming back out of this timeout. But you see a ball in their half of the field. They are man up for a full minute. 802 mark. Score UCLA three, Aztecs in white six. Oh, oh my, why? Wow, I don't know. You're down three goals, you're on man up. You had no one around you. Just turn and fire that thing overhand. Higher percentage of shot. Sometimes you have to forego the highlight film or highlight clip. Shoot that ball. Ooh, that's dangerous, <laughs> putting it right in front of the goalie. An attackman right there. So Aztec still man down for another seven seconds, so they'll look to try to clear this, retain possession. That's 25 again. Brendan Callagy showing he's not afraid to run out of Juniper Sierra High School in Foster City, California. Tough skip pass. If you're gonna throw a skip pass, it's gotta be on the money. UCLA is just wrecking this ground ball. That's what you wanna keep. Keep it dirty. Keep it dirty in your favor, Bruins. Good job. Yeah, yep. So that was playing out of bounds, so the, the Bruin player was still playing the ball as he stepped out of bounds. So that is not legal to do. Referee did point the wrong way. He said the right color pointed the wrong way, so he corrected himself, which Totally fine to do. You could see that UCLA player put himself between the field player and the Aztec bench, so easy call. Again, we've just had a beautiful day for lacrosse. There's that same pass in the dirt again. Number two on the Aztecs might want to check that stick, that pocket. That ball is going straight down. He's throwing that like a face-off man. No offense to the face-off guys, but their sticks get really warped. There's some excitement. A hustle play on the attack. My numbers are right. That's Jeffrey Hang. Hustling on attack there. That's what you like to see. Oh, oh. Just throw it away, though. We threw it away. Got to see that in. Five minutes, 13 seconds to go in this second quarter. Pretty good ball game so far. Real, real big size crowd here. Spring break happening. See a lot of black and red, of course. Plenty of Bruin parents here, too. Shout out to some of the Aztecs of the late 80s. Face off extraordinaire, Tommy Opie Hannum, watching from just outside of Philadelphia in the main line area. Both of these programs have been around since prior to MCLA's creation. Woo, got a little breeze coming at us when it used to just be a Western Collegiate Lacrosse League that they played in and just traveled up and down the coast and over to Arizona. Back when you'd play a game that was an overnight trip and overnight meant you were gonna bunk on the couches and floor space or whatever of the opposing team after you played and that's just the nature of the sport 
another great clear by the Bruins. Oh, tough pass. Tough one to handle there, but a great clear. Evan Dean, the long pole defenseman there, was being encouraged by this crowd to go in and shoot it as he's standing at 40 yards from the goal. All right, here's a turnover for the Bruins. See if they can get this upfield efficiently. There you go. Smart. Again, we're forcing it. like to probably see them get a good possession out of that. Turn, turn a turnover into a quality possession. Make a higher percentage shot. I said before, Aztecs are content. This looks like a 1-4. That's a pretty overhand shot by number 43. Thomas Como out of Los Gatos High School, Los Gatos, California, Northern California product. His first of the afternoon. I concur with the scoreboard. His overall score is seven for the Aztecs, three for the Bruins. 2.42 to go in this first half now. 2.42 remaining in the first half. You're gonna wanna go get your helmet. Don't run off without your helmet. You can't. <laughs> you left your helmet. Oh, the Bruins call the timeout. I don't exactly understand the logic of losing your helmet, being two feet away from it and running away. You can pick it up, should pick it up, put it back on and run off. So with a timeout, we can step away for a good 30 seconds, give you a break, give myself a break, and we'll be right back with the SLC Network. And we are back out of that timeout. That was UCLA's second timeout of this first half, so they're done. We're all even. 2.31 on the game clock. Coming out of a timeout, got a set play you'd like to see executed. And it looks like kind of a loose two, well, a 1-3-2 from behind kind of. Aztecs are sending an early slide. They've got short stick midi cheating in there. If you look toward the center of the field. And calls the turnover. Now it's just mano a mano who's going to run them down. Oh, it's an 
errant pass. They're just lazy passes from both teams. Ball's coming to the teammate on an arc instead of on a direct line, which you want. Aztecs survive, 135 to go in this first quarter. Or second quarter, excuse me. Second quarter, first half, however you want to look at it. 50 seconds on the shot clock. They look like they're staying in the high 144. Oh, good Lord, he's wide open. Oh, my. Good backdoor cut. By our friend Jeffrey Huang, excuse me. His first of the day. Aztecs now eight, UCLA three. If you were looking where I was looking toward the middle of the field on that one for one, they have two players in the inside about five or six yards high right in front of the goalie. And he just waited, his defenseman was staring at the ball carrier and all he did was step to the side and then to the ball. And that, that pass was delivered perfectly. That's a violation for the Aztecs. I think he was probably kicking the stick. But that's just a guess. Probably won't be much of a concern though with a minute and five to go in this first half. You get reset for the second half. Face off violations reset the next period here. The Bruins are looking to sweep off the top. Aztecs force him right into his double. Oh wow, he just caught that off. That threw my threw me off. It's not a bad clear. Short on time, 40 seconds. Actually, you have plenty of time. Stand corrected. That would definitely be a moving pick by the defenseman. I don't even think he tried. <laughs> oh, he had to slide three steps in the way. Look at the hustle by the attack, though. That's what you want. It's, it's, it's wasting time. Now they're down to 20 seconds on the offensive half. That's good hustle by the attack. And I apologize if I've called the attack numbers differently from far away the, se the second digit all looks like an 8 from here but it's a 16 and a 19 when they get close oh he's got 5 seconds who told him to shoot never ever listen to the fans on the sideline they had a plenty of time for a break and that's going to bring us to halftime Solid first half of action. 8-3 is your overall score. Aztecs in white with eight. Bruins in their UCLA blue with three. I'm Matt Holman. This is the SLC Network. We thank our production team from TVX Video. And now, enjoy this halftime entertainment. We'll come back in about eight minutes for the second half.
Well, greetings, everybody. We are just about to start the second half here in San Diego. This is your San Diego State Aztecs in white and your UCLA Bruins in visiting blue on the SLC network. The campus of San Diego State, as you can tell by the big SD on the field. I am Matt Holman for the SLC network. We're going to... Enjoy this second half together. 8-3 is your score in favor of the Aztecs. San Diego State looking to go, try to go 2-0 and within the division. And UCLA trying to get its first win in the division. A loose ball hold called on the Bruins, so Aztecs will have possession first here. It's a good crowd here, nice mixture of blue, gold, black, and red. Like to see that. I'm sure the guys appreciate the support from all of you watching from wherever you are. <coughs> Aztecs have been in this 1 4 1 the entire game, and I apologize, UCLA. We do not have a number 10 for a goalkeeper on our roster. So I'm going to assume that is goalie Bryce Long in the cage, who's listed as number 30. So hopefully, their coach can get that squared away. Wearing the wrong number is never good. I lost track of that. Oh, right off the front of the crease there. Good ride by the Aztecs once again. Oh, oh, oh. UCLA could have picked that one up. They might have had numbers in the middle of the field. Retain possession nonetheless. Five seconds on the shot clock now. 45. Nice cut. There's a good overhand shot made up for that behind the back earlier, number 12. That's Max Eisler with his second goal by my count. UCA, UCLA, excuse me, fourth goal of the game. UCLA had three in the first quarter, zero goals in the second, and that first in the third just scored right there. Aztecs a little more balanced, five in the first. and three in the second for the 8-4 score. <coughs> Ooh, that's two early face-off violations by the Bruins. Next one will result in a penalty. Guys got a little antsy after halftime, I guess. Sun is coming into our line of sight here. This first day of daylight savings. It does feel like spring a little bit though. Yes, I know if you're not here, you're complaining and telling us it's always spring, but it really is. We've had a lot of much needed rain. It's been cloudy. There's that look again on the crease. It's that one four is just really giving the Bruin defense fits. 55 on the goal. Thomas White, his first one of the day. Freshman midfielder out of Wells High School in Portland, Oregon. Shout out to Portland. Your boy is on the board. But that 1-4 is really 
really giving the Aztecs some, some easy step down shots from two to five yards away from right between the pipes. And that is really not something any goalie wants to have happen to him consistently. We're gonna scrap for the ground ball here right in front of our rowdy young fans, we'll call them. That's a tough shot on the run. Running away from the goal, didn't get your hips turned, but you had backup, you have 65 seconds on the clock and you have 12 minutes to go in this third quarter. As I started to think that might be a tough shot from 16 yards out, but you got the goal and the hit for 43. Thomas Como, his second of the day by my count. Ten four. Favor the Aztecs, 11.44 to go. Aztecs are <coughs> doing a good job on these face-offs. Oh, until I jinx them. It's a good patient double by number 13 and number 26 of the Bruins. Okay. Let me make sure I got the, oh, that's a push. That's gonna end it. I believe that's Zach Shadorf. Calabasas High School product on the clear for the Bruins. Good hustle, drew the foul there at the midline. It's like he drew a cross check on number, oh, I can't see that from here. I'm gonna say it's a number 16, drew the cross check on number 16 for the Aztecs. So Bruins with a man up here, 11.05 to go in this third quarter. Oh, early pressure by the Aztecs, knocking down the pass. Bruins are up though, they scrap here. They're not off, he ran out of bounds, plus he had a guy back. Oh, errant pass by the defenseman, but he was under duress, so Aztecs will ride here. 38 seconds remaining in the penalty. San Diego State is one of two sites that will be hosting, two sites in San Diego, I should say, that is uh, hosting the 2023 Senior Men's World Games. So games will start here on June 22nd. Opening game, oh, right on the doorstep. That's gonna be white ball. Opening game being June 21st at Snapdragon Stadium, which is the home of the Aztec football team and other sports. But then 20 of the nations will be staying here on campus or in and around the campus area, but they'll be competing here on campus over that 10 day period from June 22nd. That's just a strong goal, recognizing there was no backup there by 25. Brendan Callagy, Juniper Sierra High School, I believe that's his first of the day. I could be wrong. I'm just taking informal stats. But I am right about the score, 11-4 in favor of the Aztecs.
fortunately, fans and maybe within earshot of you at home using foul language. So we, the Bruins are down, 30 seconds on a push. Not sure why they have two. Oh, he's just clearing through. So just one man down, 30 seconds. Fouls on number 18. Aztecs ball, 9.55 to go in this third quarter. Easy man up goal there by number eight for the Aztecs. Evan Dean, his second of the afternoon. Teams are back to equal strength. Score is 12-4 in favor of the Aztecs. Aztecs are able to get some new faces in the ball game, it looks like. Yeah, that's a good foul. Good meeting, good call by the official to see that. It was off ball. <clears throat> see what the call is for those of you that may not know flag can be down when you have the ball that means it's in your favor they let you play that possession out till the defense gains possession or the ball is out of bounds in this case this possession here will stop it for the goalie and then the referees will administer the foul this way it doesn't take away from the offensive flow and now they have an opportunity to man up We'll get a hand signal here, and I'll try to read it from across the field with his back to me. Foul is on the Aztecs. That's an illegal body check. He'll serve the full one minute. Or two minutes, excuse me. So that means it was a legal body check. Uh, they made head contact. So that was a new rule instituted, uh, I think it's been two seasons ago. Any contact, neck and head, is automatically two minutes, and it can be three minutes <coughs> and or an ejection with three minutes. So that was a two-minute full-time serve foul on number five for the Aztecs. So, ooh, tip ball. That'll stay UCLA. UCLA could get, get a good look here. This is when you want to go quickly but efficiently. You have a full two minutes, and you could, in theory, score two or three goals. Depending on how efficient you are, man up, and that is not a, an efficient move. Don't want to throw it away. Certainly don't want to hang your head here either. You want to get this back. You're all even on the ride now. So it should be man on man everywhere. He just picked the goalie up now. So the Aztecs are just relying on their strength of long poles. They have great long poles here this season, it looks like. And that goal account that does not release the foul, still 116 on the on the foul left. Even though that was number 19, I believe, on the goal. Seth Gummall. Aztecs 13, <coughs> UCLA 4. One minute, 16 seconds remaining on the full time serve penalty. Eight minutes, 26 seconds remaining in this third quarter. UCLA will want to get its man up team on here quick as possible. UCLA doesn't have enough guys. Oh, here he comes. Okay. And again. Oh, geez. I was just about to say, if you're a UCLA, you want to get an efficient shot here. Loose ball hold in favor of the Aztecs. Still 40 seconds a man up here for UCLA. So far, the Aztecs have 
are on the positive side of this. Good foot and stick work here by number 12 for the Aztecs. Joshua on. Joshua's out of Port Washington, New York. Shout out to the Island fans. So the Aztecs are all even now. This is this is dangerous. To, oh, he turned the corner. Wow, wow. That's just a great athletic move by Seth Gumall. Second goal in a matter of minutes. Once he, he split that double and turned the corner, and you could tell he was just determined to get to a, a good shooting space. Unfortunately, offside defenders for UCLA didn't adjust. We are back to even now. 7.02 remaining in the third quarter. Overall scores 14-4 in favor of the Aztecs. Aztecs in the home, white. Had a push here, off ball push, UCLA ball. <coughs> That's a good move there by 22. Quick feet. Shoot it, oh, almost. It's a good idea though, good idea. He had a step on him. Definitely had a step on him. Too many men there for a second. By too many men, I was looking at the substitution area. The man came on, and the other player was still about 15 steps from getting off. So it is a one-on, one-off kind of concept when you're substitu substituting. We call it subbing on the fly, meaning the play is still going while you're subbing. Wow, good catch. There's that look inside again, and that's a goal. That will be a foul, yeah, that is a late hit. And Harmony, three flags down. Evan Dean, I think that is makes a hat trick for him. Throw him if you got him. They're calling it a push, so it'll be waved off. Push being a technical foul, you, you will wave that off if a goal is scored. If it was a personal foul, if they had called a legal body check, that player would have served that time. Unfortunately, sometimes watching a game, the crowd can make it not as fun. I always say root for your team, root for a good play. If you can't say something Pleasant, just be quiet. Let people watch the game, watch their children, watch their loved one. Looks like again, Aztecs, maybe third third line middies in. It's number 50, Colton Nevins at a Grossmont High School, local product here, just miles from wonderful Montezuma Mesa. That one four giving a great step down. No, no. Yeah, okay, good call. That's a good eye by the official. So what the call is there, as he was winding up the shoot, an offside attackman without the ball had stepped into the crease. So that wipes away that goal. Four thirty-five to go in this third quarter. It's a long quarter, a lot of goals scored. We'll extend the time, 60 seconds on the shot clock. So 
Still a beautiful day. You're seeing the shadows on the field as the sun's dropping down. I think he's gonna get there. Good save. Smart. Didn't feel any pressure on his back, so just save it to yourself. Good job number five. Oh, good shot. And again, UCLA does not have a 22 listed on their roster, unfortunately. Despite all our efforts in the SLC to remind our coaches to properly label their players for just this kind of situation. Folks at home, if you're friends and family of number 22, I give you and he a shout out and apologize for not having his name properly listed on their roster. Please email your head coach. Thank you. Both teams making wholesale substitutions here. <clears throat> 3.15 to go in the third quarter. Thanks to our prog production crew from TVX Video today for this broadcast. Over the SLC network. It is the first experiment of its kind in the MCLA this season where the bulk of streamed content from our conference is in one location. Oh, pretty. That was a pretty move, pretty goal. Good feed by number two. Joey Gazertek on the feed. Jeffrey Hong for his second goal of the afternoon by my count. 16-4, 2.30 remaining in this third quarter. Aztec so far with an eight goal third quarter and the last time I was here was their ASU game and they put up eight goals in the second quarter. And I'd say typically anytime you can put up eight goals, that's a face-off violation for the Aztecs, against the Aztecs now, Bruin ball. As I was saying, anytime you can put up eight or more goals in a quarter, you're usually typically uh, setting your, your team up for good success there. So coming up on 2.05 remaining in this quarter, 60 on the shot clock for the Bruins. that double Aztecs are quick to double and they're picking the right spots on the field to do it those low angle wings where the player doesn't have an immediate shot if he were to somehow split that double so the Bruins settle in on defense here <coughs> Forty-three on the shot clock, and one minute to go in this third quarter. One minute. Fifty-three really contorted his body to get that shot off. Since that hit the goal, they got a full reset. No need for the clock at 42 seconds remaining in the quarter. I 
that's just a. Is that, his, is that 40? Yeah, that's his second goal. Just a workmanlike manner. Or third goal, excuse me, of the day. Another hat trick handed out for Thomas Como. Referees are talking about it. We'll get the call here. So it's a dead ball foul. I mean, the goal was scored, so the play is dead. Therefore, there is no face-off. It's a one-minute foul. It is unreleasable, so if the Aztecs score within that minute, the player is released on number 15 on the Bruins. 15 on the foul. Aztecs have 22 seconds to work with in this third quarter. And now 19. See if they press this. Oh, nice D by the Bruins. Oh, just skipped underneath the goalie there. At the 9.5 seconds to go. I believe that was number two on the goal. I'm not sure I took my eye off it. I'm going to give it to Joey Gersettek. If I'm wrong, it's okay. They have it correct in their book. 18-4 is your score. Nine seconds to go in the third quarter. Lot to talk about here at the quarter break for the Bruins. That'll do it for the third quarter here. San Diego State, 18-4, your overall score. I am Matt Holman for the SLC Network, and we'll be right back after this short break. And we are back for one more. Just about to start the fourth quarter here at San Diego State University. San Diego State leading UCLA 18 to four. And it is the fourth quarter, despite what the scoreboard might say. I don't think anybody wants to play five today. That's a face-off violation favor of the Bruins. That's the second one for the Aztecs this half. One more and they'll go down. A man, that is. The Bruins are all even now. Yeah, I think they've, they've figured it out by now. The Aztecs are definitely going to press out a little bit. Make them work a little more. That's going to be over and back just under, ooh, it was just at 59 seconds. So at 60 seconds, 
the over and back goes into place, and that was a terrible exchange there from the Aztecs. You're giving the ball back to a guy that has a long pole in his face. So again, great job by number 22 from the Bruins. I don't have a name with the number, and I apologize. And I don't want to speculate who it is, but he's playing a good game. So UCLA is right here in front of us now. 14 minutes to go in this game. Gotta wonder if the sun is gonna be a factor for the Bruin goalie down the other end of the field. Cause it definitely is for us up here. We're not complaining though, it's nice to see the sun, it's a beautiful day. At this point, if I'm UCLA, I wanna stay in my sets. Get everyone touching, try not to hold the ball that long. Now you're short on the shot clock, and Aztecs deflect another pass. They probably had about six deflections today. Looks like well, the shot clock runs out on UCLA. It's just a procedure call. Aztec ball. But T. Mitty's been open on that clear. He's found a sweet spot on that clear every time. Excuse me, I had to step away for a second. So I'm trying to get a number, it looks like 19. Or a 15. I'm going to say it was 15. Jack Denton. A freshman attack player. So Coach Boehm. Yep, 15. I'm right. Coach Boehm's able to go to his. Get everybody in today. That's nice. Plus Jack being right here from Patrick Henry. Just a few miles from the campus. Probably has friends and family here. That is, oh, that's a player that needed to give that up a few steps earlier. That's who that is. <laughs> so we'll try to, try to give him a positive mention. Next play. And eight for the Bruins has played a solid game as well. Daniel Juarez, sophomore defenseman at Oak Ridge High School in El Dorado Hills, California. Wearing number eight today, he's played a real good game. So there's a little better spacing there by the Bruins, that's nice to see. Good skip pass, overhand. Good shot by 12. I believe that is his third of the day, Mac, Max Eisler. Washington, D.C. product.
Kind of slash call. There's a goal, and I believe that is the, the other backup keeper for the Aztecs. If I'm not mistaken, 26, Matthew Lee, getting some game action. And I am correct, so that is six for UCLA. Eighteen for the Aztecs. 10, 14 to go in this game. Tested ground ball here in the corner. Oh! Aztecs defenseman looks like, oh, he ran out of bounds. Yep. Stay here with UCLA ball. Good ball movement by the Bruins. Aztecs are still cautiously pressing out. It's an early double again. <coughs> swarming, swarming double there. That's probably going to be a fight, yeah? Yeah, he was down in his crouch. Can't really hit somebody in the chest if he's down in a crouch to pick up the ball. So we do have a flag down coming in favor of the Aztecs. Aztecs are taking their time here. Uh-oh, as I jinx them. <laughs> the old announcer jinx. So we got a flag. We have two flags down. They'll confer quickly to make sure they both have the same thing. Bruin foul, one minute. Bruin foul, one minute, unsportsmanlike conduct. Or excuse me, illegal body check. That was the hand signal. Legal body check. Which makes sense. Player was down in his crouch. His crouch to scoop the ball up. So you really can't hit a player between the num you know, waist and the uh, shoulders if he's bent over in a crouch to scoop up a ground ball. So with 7.50 to go, Aztecs on a man up with another 41 seconds to go. 18-6 is your score in favor of White. They so got Bruin interference called. Once possession's gained, can't do any kind of blocking motion. 
looks like the Aztecs even have a second man up team in, which is good. Good work for them. Smart on coach. Give them the look. Ah. It's getting a little sloppy now. Guys are tired, second string guys are trying to prove themselves. Second string guys are bouncing off people. Uh, Bruins are called for warding off. Can't use that free arm to swing at the, swipe at the defender's stick, whoops. Ooh, that one went in the stands. Came back just as quick and he caught it. Nobody's hurt. Bruins ball, 6.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Ooh. Just a bit outside. I think that was a save by the goalie. Or no, he just shot at Aaron. Okay, so there's no reset, so I guess it didn't hit the goalie. Hard to see, the sun's right in our face now. Nice dodge. Way to turn the corner. 27 for the Bruins there. Oh my goodness, I don't have a 27 on their roster either. So 27, beautiful work for you. First goal of the quarter for the Bruins by my count, but I think I'm off two, three, four, they have seven. Aztecs have 18, apologize to Friends and family of, is wearing numbers that are not on their roster. Not sure what the purpose is of that. Just keep moving your feet, don't panic. Procedure on white, blue ball. Full 80 seconds to work with. Wow, good anticipation by that long pole there. Just a good, good anticipation. So far, a good Aztec clear. It looks backside. Kenny. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the delayed fake. That is a shot. That's a good ground ball by the Bruins right there. Real good ground ball. Bruins in transition now. Uh, Aztecs recover. 4.35. Oh, just a drop ball. 35 for the Aztecs there. Oh, that's our guy right there, number eight for the Bruins. Ah! 
All right, three and a half to go in this fourth quarter. 18-7 is your score. Oh, that was the Olay defense by number 50. The deflection by number 60 for the Aztecs. That was Elias. Ooh. Chapa Darian. I'm going to, I just butcher that name, sorry. <laughs> Family of Elias. Good defensive play there, nonetheless. See with this second and second string. I don't like to say second string, but guys that don't get on the field a lot. Let's see what they have to offer us here. It's good to see them out here. Definitely some freshmen just by the body type. <laughs> There's an upperclassman <laughs> taking advantage. <laughs> it's a good job by number eight with UCLA recognizing he's got a probably a first year player out there. The Aztec, the answer's back. Two minutes, two minutes to go in this ball game. Yeah, he's going to be off sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. No, they're not off sides. Bye -bye. Oh, there he is. He came on late, standing over by the bench. It's good clear by Elias there. That's a good run out by 35. That John Wyatt, if my roster serves me right, save that. Oh, good hustle by the long pole. Good idea. Defensive player thought he was all alone out there. Shot is wide of the goal. 60 seconds remaining on the shot clock. One fifteen left in this game, in this beautiful Sunday afternoon. For now it's evening, really. Clock is on the field, or one minute remaining. Probably not a good time to draw a foul, Aztecs. Want to get out of this one with everyone healthy? No cheap plays at the end of the game. Yeah, that's a misnomer. People, you, you, you want to run to where the ball goes out when it goes out, not just run straight to the end line. You want to run, follow the direction of the ball. Pass there. Easy clear for the Aztecs with 24 left. With 20 seconds. Probably just going to hold this and let this time wind out. So everybody just touches or not. Going to go to the goal, 59. Five seconds, that'll be the end of the game, folks. We almost lost our cameraman at the end there. <laughs> so again, we thank you for watching. This is the SLC Network. We thank TVX Video, our production team. For those of you watching on the network or on LAX TV, our next broadcast on both platforms will be this Thursday as we dip into SLC Division II action between Northern Arizona and UC San Diego. Both teams are highly ranked in the MCLA within Division II ranks, both in the top uh, 20. So that's going to be a battle. That's Thursday night. For then, but until then, excuse me, I'm Matt Holman for TVX Video. On behalf of the Aztecs and the Bruins, we thank you for watching. And until next time, 
Enjoy the rest of your day.